I've had a lot of cancer in my family. My mother was diagnosed quite young. She was uh, 52 when she actually passed. Her diagnosis was breast cancer. And then I've had various aunts and uncles who have had others. My first wife passed of breast cancer as well, very, very young. So I've had a lot of experience with cancer before my own diagnosis. Yep, I am married. My wife is Carly Ann. Um, been together since high school. And uh, we have a five-year-old daughter, Madison. Couldn't ask for a better family to go through this whole thing with. If you had asked me the day I went in for my colonoscopy when I was first diagnosed, which was back in 2023, I would have told you, no, I'm fit as a fiddle. So I went in and doctor came back and said, I'm sorry, we found a mess. Uh, when I first got diagnosed, um, and it was colorectal cancer. It was just, uh, it's just, just like flipping your whole world upside down. When I talked to my doctors, the, the first thing that they suggested was a surgery. They, what they wanted to do was basically get rid of the mass and then do the whole body treatment with chemotherapy. There was a plan from the beginning. They said, we're going to do surgery, cut it out, you know, everything will be fine. Once we were done with that, we had a pretty good prognosis. We looked pretty clear. It was two more tests after that that came back positive, and that was the first sign of the recurrence. And then two years later, it showed back up in my lungs. I thought about our daughter, and I said, well, I don't know how she's going to grow up without her dad, so I need to figure this out. My wife told them that she wanted a... a a scan done. So they agreed to do it and then found 13 tumors that they could count. That was the, the measurable ones in my lungs. Surgery wasn't an option at all because it was just everywhere. The only thing they said they could do was start chemo and radiation. And we decided that's just, there had to be something better. I found out about the uh, Gateway trial at Duke through my doctor. And um, to hear that there was something different, I was, yeah, I was very excited. It's, it's basically trying to treat your immune system to do what it's supposed to do anyway. My current trial is addressing microsatellite stable colorectal cancer, which is the most common type of colorectal cancer. The immunotherapy, unlike chemotherapy, is durable. The patients who respond often hold that response and they maintain disease control over a longer period of time. So fewer side effects, more durable disease control. My impetus there was let's give it first and see if we can avoid all these other therapies. In the trial, very early on, after the first couple scans, we noticed that some of the smaller nodes and tumors that I had from my CT scans were gone or reducing. And the bigger ones weren't really moving, but the smaller ones had effectively disappeared. All three of our first patients that have been treated have had resolution of their symptoms shortly after starting immunotherapy with botulinumab and bolstilumab, uh, including um, one of the first patients on trial who walked out of his first infusion and no longer had abdominal pain. Uh, and he's just done fantastic since then. I think one of the most significant results overall is that we have a 100% disease control rate in our patients that uh, we've treated so far. So we've treated eight patients, we've scanned seven of them, and everybody uh, has not had to go on to chemotherapy. So everybody remains on immunotherapy, including a patient who's had almost complete resolution of all of their lung metastasis, and chemotherapy has, has never entered his veins for, for microsatellite-stable colorectal cancer. That is, that is you know, not something that has ever been described before or done. These medicines, the trials, uh, the facility, this, this making it all work. It's just all, I believe it was all through God. I couldn't do it without him. There is no way to possibly overstate this, that this trial would not have happened without Gateway. I tell patients that uh, because it's the truth. Because of Gateway, he's able to watch his daughter grow. She put a veil on and he lost it. Think she's a little princess and he's just trying to hold it back. So at that moment, I was like, okay, we're gonna have to get you to where you're there at her wedding day dancing. To the donors for Gateway, uh, I want to say, first of all, thank you 
for giving me the opportunity to be in a clinical study that has had a positive impact on my journey through cancer. It's, it's changing lives. It's changed my life a lot. Mine and my family's life. I, I'm, I'm thankful for it. I'm thankful for everything that's happened.